Buck Buck Jam. Yo, Buck Jam, do you hear what I'm saying? We got the green cup moving, there's no delaying. No jack crack, no border, got a light, got a turbo muffler, a clean sweat back. Really gleeful, get in the week. The air cool mothers are taking the lead. It's the Buck Jam. Uh, yeah. You know, it's the Buck Jam. Jim car Company, take yes. your please. Oh, I love the bug jam, it's very lovely and beautiful. In particular, it's a fighter. Let's have a look at that. Like, it's a fighter, like, it's people from all over the country, right? It's not just like isolated to the southeast of England. You've got people from like uh, Lancashire, Scotland, Cornwall, all down there, French people, all kind of people, you know? And like, it doesn't matter what kind of person you are, uh, what kind of things you're into, everyone's into Beatles, you know? See? Car is a 1957 Oval. Uh, it's been raced by the De Coppen brothers in uh, in LA for the last nine years. Basically, it's always run the smallest CC engine and always run the fastest times with that that CC of engine. The um, engine's bigger than uh, what was used last year uh, with their car, and that ran a 9.9 .9 at 138 miles an hour. And this is a bigger, more powerful engine. So. Uh, if I don't, uh, well, once I get used to the car, then maybe we might get down to those times, but I think we're, think we're a long way off that yet. That's the rest of the team. We don't know where they're gone. We've given up. <laughs> Hi there, guys. This is Rad Boys Crowning. <laughs> Everybody come over here now. We've got Jerry Almas here. 12 pounds apiece. All your rest chromium, none of your German car company rubbish. <laughs> We've got Jerry in foot prompts. There he is, Dan Beatles. Uh, pardon? <laughs> Hold it on. Exchange Chrome, and it's all in the country. It's Exchange Chrome for Beatles. Uh, Ali polishing, Cone brass plating, gold plating, plating, brass plating, German helmets, helmets, German helmets, uh, helmets, uh, helmets, uh, helmets in the water, German helmets. Uh, Hot Headlight. Headlight. <laughs> That's a, um, that a rare uh, German. Yeah. It's, uh, um, <laughs> That's rubbish! That's the window with a store at all. We're sorry about that one. <laughs> this has had disc brakes on the front and it's had a lighter gearbox with lighter half shafts, which makes it a four stud, which is why I've got the four stud wheels on. Gives you better braking and that. The engine's a standard 1600 twin port with twin cadrons. Just been sprayed up and that with a dual quiet pack on the rear. With French dim rear lights on the window. And a pretty ingrained back window. And as you can see, the window has been engraved with the Beetle, how it looked when I first bought it. A V out of the back end, three inches out the pillars, and three inches out the rear, and slowly putting some weight on the top and lowering it down. Front window really, I've already had one smashed, putting it back in and recutting it. They've cut 
and a, another three, really. And it took a lot of work, really. And I'm glad to get it back on the road for this weekend. It's been a real struggle to get it back. So tell us about your trails. Are you going to chop those as well? <laughs> no, they're yeah, chopped. But... This is just for a pose, really. Just to get on the field. <laughs> Don't you look silly? Yes. <laughs> Everyone's gonna see it. Yeah. Thanks, thanks, Yeah! Oh, yeah. 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 Right. That's a double skinned one inside now. That's a single skin. Same thing for a lighter car. Why go to trouble when it's loads of features? Why go to the trouble of molding something? Tell us why. Because you can't get it in steel. That would cost you about £300 in steel. How much? About £300. How much do you That's 75 that's 40. It's a bargain, we'll take two. Okay. Got your boyfriends here? No. So what are we going to do tonight? Snow. Party. Party? <laughs> yeah. Are you on road? Straight down, Tom. No. That's okay, my name is uh, Jean-Noël and uh, I made all this uh, beautiful badge. Okay. <laughs> and uh, you can uh, see these badges in the night. Because it's uh, phosphorescent. It's a good word, uh, phosphorescent? Yeah. yeah. Okay. You've got blue, white, red, green, black. You want to know the color uh, uh, of the color of the rainbow? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You got any underarm here? No, I haven't. No, it's all right. Okay, can I go now? Yes. That's the carbs, that's the dynamo, that's the pulley, that's the distributor, that's the fuel pump, that's the oil filler, that's an air filter, that's an oil filter, that's the fan shroud. What carburetors you got on there? Got dual twin weathers. What are they again? Dual twin weathers. Right. I like your dual twin weathers, Julie. Thanks very oh, much. Good. Say goodbye to the folks. <laughs> goodbye, folks. I'm Ed, this is my car. It's a long way, that doesn't matter, it's a good place. It's the advantage, isn't it? That's what it's all about, I don't know why, it's just the, the connection. We just take, take the Beatles surfing and that's just the way it is, it's just the life. I live down in Essex, the nearest beach is Mersey, and it's hell of hard work trying to catch them in there. You get waves that are really radical, about six inches high. That's really hard work. <laughs> that's the way it is, I, I, take, I take, still take it down there. 
take that now, paddle around, but it's just trying to slow that's pretty tricky. The cow look, well, I personally think the cow looks going out of fashion, everybody's looking for a new thing, everybody wants a new a new image. We're doing, we're doing the same thing, we're doing a surf image, we're sort of halfway between the two. The back's really high and the front's really low, that's the way it's sort of like half a baja and half a, half a cow looks like. But it's, uh, that's just individuals, isn't it? It's just up to the individual, what you want to do. Right, this is the world famous Santa Pod Toilets, infamous, and this good lady's name is Ruth of the Loos. Right, we've paid our five pence and we're now going to walk inside and see and smell the delights ourselves. And it smells so bad in here. The camera smell. Oh, bloody awful, doesn't it? Gents. This is, the, this is the first time this place has been empty all day long. It's getting pretty smelly as we come in. And here's one of the options. That's the only option. That's his brave. And what's your name, sir? The first person to urinate on a worldwide television. Is it really? In the next booth, we've got someone with his hands down his pants. And, uh, <laughs> Hello there. Uh, and what's your name, sir? Uh, Mr. James. Uh, Mr. James is doing something in the uh, clothes cubicle. Mm. And then uh, in the last two tracks, we are empty. Shame you can't record the smell in that video. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we've got a special smell sensitive camera. And in the, ver in the staff cubicle, this is. Oh, now, as we see. Recently cleaned, and at last you have the load down on Santa Pod toilet. Hell sponges. What's that about that? They're hungry, probably. Washing up that hasn't been done. I'm going to tell their mothers about this. Free <laughs> that! Free that! <laughs> Français, belge. Comment ça s'appelle euh... Comment ça s'appelle Bernard. Bonjour. Hello. Ici Bernard. Tony. <laughs> From Belgium too. From Belgium too, yes. <laughs> Complete more on what engine is that? It's a 411 variant. Has the old variant, 1700s. It's got um, Eagle Race Cam, dual twin 40s. Just tart it up, really. How long did you play to build that? Well, it took me and me and my brother um, about nine months. <laughs> Polish it. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Uh, we got yesterday's problem sorted out. And, what was uh, that? Broke a cam follower, which is something I was never ever done before. It seemed to be a faulty casting in it. And um, so we tore the engine apart, put a new set of lifters in, put it back together, ran it last night. Just sort of lazy, sort of 12 3, and that shakedown run. Did all the timing clearances again this morning, and uh, hopefully take it out and get back into the 11s again. 
maybe if the weather keeps up and the car holds together, try and go for the tens. It'd be nice to try and win that 250 pounds that's been put up. But uh, it's largely thanks to Bernie, you know, they managed to get it back together again. Just doing a full engine rebuild in the back of a van is not the uh, easiest of things to do. But uh, you can hardly come here and not actually uh, go out there. So can't let a little thing like a broken camp or a stop it. So, so this, is, this is Bernie from Intake event. Bernie from Wagonmaster. Bernie yeah. from Wagonmaster. Bernie, Bernard, come do a commercial here. break here. Oh, yes. This is Bernie Smith. Where's oh. Wagonmaster based? Uh, Woods Beach in Cambridgeshire. Right, so yeah, can get you the yellow pages, can we? Yes, you certainly can. You under, en under rear of van engine rebuilds. Here's the uh, 50 quid, take that. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So we'll see you later. Yep, it's only well. Okay, cheers. Yeah, the Buck Jam stickers. One pound. One pound. Buck Jam 89. Buck Jam. Buck Jam. Welcome to our timing booth, uh, spec the uh, commentator booth next door. These are our timing machines which uh, actually give all our elapsed times and speeds. Basically what we do uh, when the cars come to the start line, it's all done on photoelectric cells. And we start our, our clocks running, now our call up lights are now on the tree. If we had cars here at the moment ready to run, they would come to the white line and photoelectric cells would start and these lights would show. We've got a countdown sequence over here, which we dial in to anything between three and five tenths of a second. Then the cars go. Obviously, if they leave too soon, they pull a red light. And that is all shown. If they both go properly, they light those green lights. But if one of them goes too soon, the red light for that lane will be lit. And then at the end of the run, what will happen is these, as soon as they leave the start line, they trip the photoelectric cells and these clocks start to run. Now what happens is they run through the quarter mile as they finish the, as they cross the finishing gantry, they will also trip another set of uh, photoelectric cells. So that gives us our times and speeds and then I'm able to put them out to the general public. Public. In the quad class. Tri class, the quad class, yeah. yeah. What sort of engines they have? Uh, 250 motocross engines are, same as the motocross equivalent. Right, yeah. Uh huh. 
Mechanical breakdowns, and yeah. so? you need a good mechanic, don't you? And not everybody's you husband that? or boyfriend can be bothered. <laughs> but I'm looking where I can. I mean, it's supposed to work about 60 40. I do want a can. You know, get filthy, I don't care. I just wanted to have a go, you know. Yeah. What? Uh. What? Yeah. Do you like this? It goes up and down at will. And it's much not thinking about. So we got off work over the weekend. I've dragged my friend down to see what it's like. So we're here till Sunday to the end. Yeah. And I'm going to have to go to the pub and have a drink and then go home and have a drink. Get drunk. Very drunk. Women are going to be in our tents for the whole this night. This one here. We're going to be in our trousers. Trousers and our pants and everything. <laughs> We will be there with them women. We, them. Okay. we, we did book jam in Preston. What's the rarest item on the table, the toolkit? No, copy this. Brand new speedometer of Splitwind the Beetle. Hundred quid. Very rare. A man of many bargains we've got here. So probably getting your legs in from there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I brought this off uh, these crooks over here. <laughs> Purchased from that man over there in the white t-shirt for a mere three hundred pounds. If it moves well, see there. how useful one of these split split windows is. And Rob's going to take us around and show us inside the evil cooker. All right. Yeah. Trip. The auxiliary drawer here, nice and false, can openers, vital things to keep your doors on. Um, Toolkit, what you'd never need with Volkswagen, of course. Because it's uh, useless stuff. Yeah. Here, like. 
it's pretty purely for display. Yeah. <laughs> Tow rope in case you have to uh, tie some young girls up on the way home. Around here, we have the dog. It's not mine. I just like to point out at this stage, none of these, none of these children or women are nothing to do with me at all. All right, because I'm gay, so that's right. And in here, we have the cooker and the cookie and the um, yeah, and the official uh, bug jam mess. Hey, that's my fridge, you rope. <laughs> <laughs> so, where are you from? Uh, Staffordshire, Litchfield, no, just north of Birmingham. Who's that in there? Is that your girlfriend in there? Yeah, that's my girlfriend. Don't tell the wife though, will you? <laughs> it's not going, uh, it's not going national. Really. It is. Is it? Well, I'm in trouble. <laughs> yeah, but I'm in the process of uh, renovating this at the moment. So I've put a, put a Type 4 engine in it, a bigger engine in it. So, uh, over the next couple of years, you know, I'm going to get this into show class. So. But at the moment, I've just come down with him. We've got a few things to sell, you know. And, uh, so, front in the family. show yeah. his car. Oh, yeah. Well, he started on it, you know, and then we got dragged in, sort of thing. So, it's good fun, though. You've been to Bug Jam before? Oh, yeah, we've been to everyone. Plus every other VW show. Plus a load of other car shows. We, we go to one nearly every weekend, you know. Come here with your mum and dad? Yeah. I've got Beatles. So, I've got a caravan and something back. So, what are you going to get when you get old enough to drive? Cabriolet, black. Black Cabriolet, yeah. What about your friend there? Yeah. You better say Volkswagen until you get strangled. Say Bug Jam is cool. Bug Jam is cool. So this is, do you, do you own Volkswagens? No. no. Why are you here? Because we love Beatles. Good enough for me. So what's Bug Jam then? It's brilliant. <laughs> so, can you recommend to all the girls out there who haven't been so far to come next year? Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Right. Have you been naughty last night? No. A Frenchman. I'm Amer an American man now. <laughs> now we're enjoying the uh, good weather in England and uh, the nice VWs and uh, this extremely crazy scene now that's happening in England. You know, I mean, VWs are very popular in Europe and it's good to see. You know, it's not only happening in America. Plus. We like to see the different influences that you can observe out here. You know, there's a different style in England, and it's it's, it's quite interesting to see. And I think there's almost a hundred French people out here. So it's happening. We were hoping to have several race cars from France, but you know, the the French always have an excuse, you know, for not being somewhere. You know, and one guy's in Egypt right now this weekend. He's got the nicest race bug that was imported from America. And uh, another guy didn't make it because he was short on time. But it's happening over there too, and everybody's, you know, is hoping to be here in September for the uh, Terma Car Company run. So you know, the French will be racing here, and I think it's it's growing all over Europe. And it's very good to see that the, the VW industry and and the movement itself is growing real big. So it's a good thing, you know. It's a lot of fun. But 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 jam. Oh yeah. But jam. Uh. Oh, the bug jam. Yeah. 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 
Just down the road in Wellingborough. We yeah. come up here most weekends. Yeah. Yeah. Like, how you will. Uh, mostly, yeah. <laughs> a bit more. What do you like? Do you like the Volkswagen spare wheel? Yeah. Yeah, it's much more fun. Yeah, just much more crowded, busy, makes a good weekend. People like this enjoying themselves. What it's all about. Okay. The car's a, a replica of Porsche 356 Speedster. Um, it was built, built by a guy called Troy Dillon in the States, and uh, we bought it from him at the end of last season, had it shipped over. The car is built with a potential of running something like 96 at 155. I live in Wilmington, which is just down the road, about three miles away. It's regular place, Yeah. Every meet, well, nearly every meet. Nice stuff here, though. It's all right. This is the busiest I've seen it this season, because it's been rubbish. But some of the cars here today are well nice. <laughs> Like the Volkswagen is the growing season. Yeah. Well, we, this is the first season I've seen the Volkswagens up here. I didn't come up for the bug jam last year, but uh, there's, what, I should think there's about four, five thousand of them. That's not, in, no, that's including just spectators as well with the, with their Volkswagens. What, this place is? Where some of some of the time you can actually hear it, what, about four or five miles away, you can actually hear them revving up and that. But I've never been up here till about three years ago. I've enjoyed every time I've come up. Noisy thing. So, tell us a bit about this car then. What's the basis of it? Well, it, it used to be Tony's rallycross car, and it's the first car that he bought. Um, it's, come, it's a semi-space frame shell, uh, glass front, glass rear, uh, highly modified 1600 engine. Um, What's the good? Don't really know yet. We're sort of, yeah, hopefully for 13s. Um, right. Good okay. luck. Oh, I understand drag race. Yeah. Yes, I think so. Why should I? Did you try going along yesterday? I did, yeah. Did you like it? <laughs> I think so. It's better than my racing. It's good. No, I don't know anything about them. No, no. no. Did you see the drag racing as well? Yep, long time ago. Can we see the drag race again? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, a round of applause for Demi! Yeah. 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 Still Samantha, behave you. Totally uncontrollable. Do you like your steel dog? She's not going to say a word, I don't blame her. The next line was unprintable. But it's Samantha! Yeah. Yeah. Vicky! 
running. <laughs> <laughs> Arnold's here, he's trying to find out a sneak preview. Put them all out of their misery. <laughs> Can I just say thank you very much to all our young boys. Okay, well, the winner of our Radical Shorts uh, is a very deserving winner. I don't think you're going to get much of an interview, but unanimous decision by our three young ladies. The winner is our youngest competitor, Reese. Round of applause, please, for Reese. Terry's beating services. 
I have a piece. Um, rocker shaft broken. So obviously just then uh, seized everything outside and the push rods just come up and whack, whack the, uh, the remains of the shaft straight out into the rocker cover and push the rocker cover off. Won't know until we get the end of the part whether it's damaged anything else further down the valve train or not. But hopefully the push rods would have taken all the uh, the brunt, you know. It's loose, it's loose. He's broken it already, look, and he's got it on. Zero, good behave. Cheers, guys. That's smashing. Well done to him. And uh, all his bikes are out. Cheers. Thanks, Ben. Good job there. Cheers. Round of applause for Alan. Check that one out before you go home. That is a very nice looking car, isn't it? Mike, round of applause, please, for Brian Burrow. <laughs> Do they, for God's sake, you two. Well done, indeed. Round of applause to these guys. And there's one you weren't expecting. What's that for? What's that for? What's that for? It's because he likes us. And it's below ET of the meeting for a beat up. Thanks, Brian. <laughs> And uh, this drove me for the most beautiful uh, VW Europe presented by Tissue, the editor of Custom Car and Bombswell magazine. Well done, Brian. Good to see the trophy in England. Well done, Brian. Thank you. 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 Thank you.